All right, folks, here we are. It's a Saturday night, and I am here debunking another really, really bad effort at trying to prove that there is a cougar sighting in Tennessee. And so what I'm going to do today is show you a couple of pictures that have been presented as evidence that there is a cougar, and you can see um, just exactly how uh, people get totally confused. The, these were submitted by a couple, uh, Terry and Lindsay. Um, I don't know, male, female, whatever they are, um, are arguing that this is going to be uh, proof of cougars in Tennessee. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it step by step to show the process we use in order to verify or deny the existence of, of cougars using photographic evidence. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just in PowerPoint, and so I'm going to insert some pictures that they had provided for us. So what I'm going to do is call up, these are two of the pictures that they had submitted on a website, and so I just imported them into PowerPoint, and you, you'll see I'm not fooling with any of them. But these are posted on a website, TN Deer. And this picture on the left is what they claim to be a cougar. And in an effort to find out what exactly it is, they also submitted another photo from the same game camera. And these are unadulterated. I have not messed with them at all. You're going to see all the manipulation that we do to do the photo verification. So the first thing we're going to do, you see the picture of the quote unquote cougar on the left and another picture of a deer. So the first thing you will notice is they're not the same distance. Uh, this photo on the left is cropped and this photo on the right is what that camera typically takes. The reason you can tell, obviously, just look at this large tree on the right hand side. You can see this one is zoomed in where they had cropped the photo. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shrink both of these so we're, we get all this other crap out of the way. And so we're going to cut this photo off there and there right at the bottom so we're not losing anything. So there is that one. I'm going to do the same thing on this photo here. And so you can see by the lines, the dotted lines that come across, it will show that we're doing it exactly the same on both photos. So there are the two photos uh, with all that extra stuff out. And so I'm gonna blow them up a little bit so we can see them a little better. We're keeping the exact same dimensions. Let me move this one over a little bit. And right away you see the photo on the right of the deer, you see the camera details. This tells us that this is an uncropped photo. The picture on the left with a cat has no photo details at the bottom. So you can tell they zoomed in. And again, you can see it in the in the uh, how close this tree is on the right. So what we need to do is we need to get the exact same dimensions on this photo with this photo since this one is cropped and obviously zoomed in. And so the best way to do that is you get some known objects that do not move, such as this tree, this tree, this tree, this tree, this tree. And we can reduce this photo down until this photo is the same dimensions as this photo. And so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on a little transparency on this photo here so we can see through it, but we can still see the trees. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to bring it to the front first. So I'm bringing this photo on top of this one. So they line up exactly alike. Actually, what I'll do, I'm going to blow up both of these so we can really see what I'm doing here. And you know there's no manipulation that is going on. So you will see the, the entire thing right here before your eyes. So this front photo has the cat on it. You can see it's a little transparent. Bringing it right on top of this photo right here. And so 
like I said, we've got to shrink this down until we can line up these trees exactly alike. So you can see where this photo's going and I'm lining it up right here on this tree. But you can tell these trees are still not aligned. So we've got to reduce it down until we line those things up. And so right now we're getting close. Again, you can see the the photo, um, the transparent photo with the trees, we're lining it up with the background photo. And we're just trying to line up the trees so they match. And that's about as good as we're gonna get. It's super close. So you can see the trees now line up really well. And so it's hard to see the cat in the transparent photo, but you now know that these dimensions are exactly the dimensions we need for this photo. And so it's it's about, like I said, it's still a little off. I could shrink it down a little more just to get it exact with these trees. And so you can see that this tree, this tree, this tree, and this tree all perfectly line up. So now what we can do is we can remove the transparency on that front photo. So there's the cat. And now let's let's crop it a little bit so we can see where that deer is in relation to that cat. And lo and behold, that is the size of the cat in relationship to the deer. And so it probably fits better in here. Let's get that lined up again. So there's the trees all lined up. There's the cat, there's the deer. The cat is, oh, approximately maybe 11, 12 inches tall. So this idea of it being a cougar has been completely blown out of the water just with the photographic evidence. But the the uh, Miss, Mrs. or Mr. Lindsay and Terry or whatever they are um, wanted other evidence. And so you look, obviously, at the morphology of a house cat right here. One of the things that they have, as opposed to cougars, very dainty feet. And you can see how tiny these feet are. You're looking at, oh, an inch or two in diameter. And that is nothing compared to a house cat or nothing compared to a cougar. You also notice the tail, very skinny tail, which is indicative of a house cat. Mountain lions have much thicker tails that come out from the, the top hind end of the of the buttocks there. And this tail is extremely thin compared to a mountain lion tail. Again, you see very dainty ears, again, indicative of a house cat. But again, the overall size of this cat in relation to a deer is proof positive 100% they photographed a house cat. So this is how we do photographic evidence. And it goes to show that it's kind of hard to photograph something that is not living in your state without getting called out on the carpet. So we do appreciate the effort, uh, but unfortunately it's another dead end when it comes to cougars in Tennessee. So thanks for joining in. Uh, Terry and uh, whoever, Lindsay, if you get any more photos, we would love to see them because it's actually kind of fun um, debunking these things. So, all right. Thanks, guys.